Um, why don't we check in here with Brian from Phoenix? Brian, you're on the air. Hey, David, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, I was listening to one of your recent episodes regarding uh, the Kyle Rittenhouse shooting. You were talking about uh, how it's representative of all of the uh, the problems with gun culture and, um, you know, the uh, the fact that Kyle Rittenhouse felt justified in going there at all is sort of indicative of all of those issues. Yes. Uh, parenting, sort of gun culture, vigilantism, et cetera. Would you, um, you know, I actually I agree with a lot of that. Would you also say that there's a similar issue with the way that um, many of the protesters felt justified in being there around like the uh, particulars around the Jacob Blake shooting um, in terms of, you know, is there any onus on the media that portrayed the shooting in the way that it did, given, um, you know, what we know about it now that, you know, the what was occurring before the police got there, the kids in the car, the knife in the seat, all of those things. Those are there's kind of two questions there. And I think it's important to be really careful. The protesters, to the extent that people were protesting, I'm not talking about looting, arson or anything like that. That stuff's against the law and I'm against it. But the protesting and marching and holding signs and saying things um, constitutionally protected paramount uh, element of the United States of America. Right. That that's that is beyond reproach as long as you're doing it in a nonviolent way. The Definitely. second part is, were they ginned up into a frothy state because of media coverage, which could have been different? That is totally plausible. I don't remember the coverage now and I'm I, you know, I would need to study it more. It's completely plausible that media could bear a responsibility for raising tensions. I'm not saying they did. I'm just saying it's theoretically possible, but that's a different issue from the pro. I don't think we could say that there's a problem with a culture where people feel like it's OK to go and protest that they, it is OK to go and protest. And we want to be really clear about that. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Dan. All right, Brian, thank you so much for the call. That's going to do it for calls today. I do plan and hope to take more calls again soon, and I will speak to you then.